Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yah Shahala, Koholoyimla, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Hakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well there by the Spirit, taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water toward the Aki Minakwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Shahana Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Just wanted to touch on this, um, hmm. This article right here says black father boasts about having 46 children and 23 baby mamas. I got a woman in my life that's trying to have three more. So, of course, same old thing. They go up into the Nick Cannon thing, you know, and they just, you know, when it comes to so-called black men, they don't think that you should have more. They shouldn't. I mean, really, they don't they don't think you should have no children. In reality, I mean, when it when it comes to Esau, Edom and his kingdom in this world. You know, they, they see you as a, a, well, you got five kids. You know what I'm saying? As if a so-called black man can't have five kids, but you'll see a so-called white man, you know, in his little family or whatever, and they all on vacation, and, you know, they in the damn RV traveling the country, and there's nothing said. Even if it was, you know, well, you ain't going to see that really amongst those so-called Chinese. I don't know how them motherfuckers got to the point. That, well, I guess they, they, they was getting it in until they came up with the one child. I think they got a two-child law. Um... But hey, man, this has been a thing amongst the Israelites for since the beginning of time. And the Lord is actually in control of the spirits, you know, that come into this world. He's in control of who comes here and who leaves, man, because he's in control of life and death. But, you know, I'm pretty much the story. You already know what it is. I'm not going to even go into it. I was just reading some of the, some, some of the comments and women going in. You know, now I'm not sure what nationality of these women, but more than likely they're I'm, I'm sure it's, you know, a nice majority of them have gone to Planned Parenthood and then killed two or three babies, you know, possibly even more, you know, or took that after mor that, that morning after pill. And these will be the same ones that's talking all kinds of shit and hating. But the Lord said it'd be fruitful and multiply, you know. But when I seen this, and like I said, I'm not going to go all off into the story. You already know what it, what it is. <laughs> you, pretty, you pretty much know what this is, man. These women in here going in on the comments. He should be neutered, you know, all kinds of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But in the ancient days, this was a glorious thing. This was a beautiful thing, man. Because like I said again, the Lord, he said to be fruitful and multiply. We're just in a kingdom where what he's doing, I mean, if he, if he really has 46 kids, like I said, it, man's goings of the Lord. First off, let me get that real quick. So, so really, in reality, it's nothing that he could have done to really... You know, get her, he, he couldn't get around this, man. This is just his lot. If this is the case, this nigga could be lying. But this is Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings of Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? So if a man's goings is of Yahweh, then the Lord walked him right into every woman that he met and, and had these children with. You see? And if these women don't have no problems with it, then what, what, what does everybody else have a problem with? They're like, oh, he can't afford them. Well, shit, if he's out here working and, 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 you know, I didn't see in the article where, you know, um, he's just out here, just some damn bum. He don't have no, I don't know what he do. He could have, hey, he could be shit. If he, if he's a, you know, he could be a millionaire. There's nothing to take care of 46 kids. If you're a millionaire, if you're not dealing with no dumb ass women, like straight up, the only, only problem he will have is, is if he's dealing with some dumb ass baby mamas, because if he got 40, you know, 23, I think it's 23 baby mamas. Out of all the children, shit, man, if they if they if they was really thinking kingdom like, man, they could get down in, the, in this world. Shit, just think if Jake just think. See, this is why the so-called white man, he wants you so-called black women to hit a Planned Parenthood because he understands that uh, uh, the multitude of a nation is powerful. So he has set it up where you can just go, you know, <laughs> you can just do your thing on a weekend and just go and kill the damn baby. You know what I'm saying? And Esau, he's 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 pretty damn crafty, man. The so-called white man, he's pretty damn crafty. He doesn't want us producing like that, cause he he already know they're already outnumbered anyway. They keep talking about we're the minority. Really, in reality, the Israelites are um the majority anyway on the planet. We just look like all these different nations now. We've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, but in the kingdom, hey, this is gonna be nothing. Forty six kids, man. That's gonna psh, that's all you got, bro. When you gonna have some kids? It's gonna be like uh, mama. And daddy asking you, man, when y'all going to give us some grandbabies? 
that's going to be nothing. 46 kids in the kingdom ain't going to be shit, man. That's going to be a drop in the bucket as opposed to what Jake going to be doing, man. But like I said, when you go into these comments, matter of fact, let's read a few of them. I don't even want to even go into them. But anyway, well, let's just get some, you know. This person's world without end, okay. Now, and actually, you know, that's spiritual right there, that world without end. Because that world without end is going off into Isaiah where it's talking about the Israelites. A world without end. That they ignorantly fuck up when it comes to um, um, John 3.16 where... You know, they try and use that word world as if he's talking about everybody. No, it's, 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 the, the, the world of Israel is a world without end. So that's spiritual. I ain't even noticed that. But they say, no, nah, the, ta the taxpayers have 46 children with 23 baby mamas and another woman about to be baby mama 24 to the other tw um, three children we about to have because brother can't support all them kids. See, that's what I'm saying. How you know he can't support them? How you know? And I'm going to tell you that, like, somebody like a LeBron James, he just got three, you know, he got his kids, you know what I'm saying? I think he what, he probably got, I think he got, like, three kids. Even if LeBron was to have 46 kids, they would still be talking all that shit, even though this man can't afford them because he has the money to do so. And if he had some damn sense, I mean, you know, but like I said, hey, we're living in America. Everything is, you know, you can do certain things, but everything is not wise to do. Now, though he can afford it, he could be dealing with multiple women like that in general. But he's living with an American mindset. And the people that's in these comment boards, they have an American westernized concept of life where the so-called white man, his ass is dwindling. He needs to be having 46 kids and trying to get their goddamn population back up. But he has pushed on everybody else that, nope, you don't reproduce. You know why? Because they don't want you to, to surpass their asses. See, you have to, you see, let me get this scripture. You have to realize who you're dealing with out here, man. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. This man has, has, has streamlined and orchestrated the whole family structure where there's no man in the house. The woman is out here able to gather abroad throughout the night. Fuck who she want to, you know, mess with, Salakia, you know, and, and, and get pregnant and then go abort the baby. He has given her all these freedoms. He's given her food stamps. He's given her section eight. Here you go. Most of these women that's in this comment board talking all that shit about him not being able to take care, care take care of 46 kids. When they th these women can't even take care of themselves unless the government stepped in and gave them the shit that they getting on a monthly basis, along with child support and all this other stuff that the so-called white man has set up for them to benefit in this kingdom. See, but they'll talk shit about this man like, oh, yeah, you know, deadbeat. He should be neutered. He should, I'm looking at these comments like, but you know, it, it, it's to be expected. You know why? Because we're looked down upon in Esau's kingdom. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American men, we're looked down upon in this kingdom. But it's coming to a point where the Lord is going to bring us up and, and, and it's going to be powerful, man. I, I can't wait personally to see what it's really going to be like. I can't wait, man. Not only are we going to be reproducing, we're going to have their asses reproducing so we can have more slaves. To get the work done that we want done. God damn it. Ain't gonna be none of that. Oh, you uh, uh, you can take a, a peel in the morning after. No, ain't gonna be no Planned Parenthood on no corners in our kingdom. It's not gonna be none of that. It's not gonna be no adoption centers. Here you go, the so-called white man. He, he he talks his shit with, with his science. Now oh, look at us. What the, the science. And Eve just fell with the serpent, man. You see, it says this man clearly doesn't give a damn where he sticks his wien or raw. Hey, you may. Hey, how you know these women that he's dealing with it? There are some women out here that are just completely not hoes. You know, there, there's women out here you can deal with. You know what I'm saying? That you, you know, I mean, hey, they even why not go to Esau's testing centers and see if anybody got diseases? And if they don't, hey, this is what we're going to do. Do you want to be tested monthly? Do we need to be tested weekly if I don't trust? No, I trust you. We're going to do this. And, 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 and I know for a fact that I can trust this person laying down with him and doing that. You never know somebody's situation. See, it says I will be grossed out to sleep with the man who clearly doesn't wrap it up. And for 23 women pregnant, completely don't don't wrap it up. Now, like I said, again, is it wise 
to deal with women like that, especially a uh, man, huh? I got to admit, <laughs> is it wise to deal with that type, that many women in America, in American society? Nope, it's not. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, but hey, like I said, hey, man's going of the Lord. If this is really real, then it is what it is. I got a cousin down South Hill that, that was, ain't no telling how many kids he got last time I spoke to him. He had 53, I think it was. And he was in his 30s at the time. <laughs> so, I don't know. Hey, it is what it is. It says apparently the women aren't, aren't very particular either. Yeah. Here you go, another one. Just as bad as being an absent father because you can't spread yourself out enough to give those kids the parents the parent they deserve fucking selfish piece of shit see this person you know uh responded you stated the real problem yes he is thank you that's kids grow up without this selfish sperm intruder is the only thing only good thing see they talking all down on the man they don't know the man's situation they it, it that's the american mindset and you know these generally these these are women these are the, the most of these are women and I'm willing to bet you they done been to Planned Parenthood. They done they done knocked off a bunch of babies. I'm willing to bet you. I'm willing to bet you that. They're, these are the ones that are, you know, that'll tell you a body count don't matter. You know? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So it, it's a very hypocritical world. Because it's it's women out here with seven, eight fucking baby daddies. And, and still be wanting to be treated like they ain't got no kids at all and that they ain't never had no sex. They virgins, they want to have a princess wedding and, and, and I deserve this and a my man going to do this you know, with all these fucking ultimatums. You see? But anyway, I don't want to keep this long. I already knew what them comments is going to be. But let me get one more scripture. I mean, this is, you know, it, it, it's laughable when the straight comes down to it. But hey, we, we coming back to that, baby. You about to, Jake about to get down out here. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 22 it says a little one shall become a thousand and a small one a strong nation I Yahweh will hasten it in his time that's coming that's prophecy that's prophecy Jake gonna be out here getting it in man we gonna fill this whole goddamn planet and other planets too <laughs> with, with children man multiple wives we're going back to what we used to do. We're not going to be living under the uh, the rulership of some old weak ass so-called white man that can only handle one woman. We're, we weren't designed that way. And neither was no man, actually. It's just this dude. You know, the Lord just cut him off and shut him down so cold to the point where, you know, his, his, his you know, because the Lord said he was going to make him a small nation. So since he's becoming small, he's using his laws and his craftiness to make the other nations small or at least trying to but he can't do it because even in egypt you know under the the, the shit that we was going through through the um the egyptians we was prospering and, and multiplying everywhere we are we're multiplying because that was a promise to abraham our forefather abraham the lord promised him that his his seed would be like the would be innumerable how do you think that's gonna happen men having sex with women and multiple women at that so while this one woman is pregnant for nine months, Jake getting however many women he want pregnant within those nine months of that one. Here you go, you living in the Americas where a dude can only, that shit is just silly. And then they call it cheating. No, that's not cheating. The, the Lord designed men to be with multiple women. That just is what it is. Here you go, and then here comes the so-called white man throwing white Jesus at you, talking about adultery, not knowing what the word really means. Come on, man. Uh, I, I mean, the, the comments are comical, though. That was the main thing that really got me with the story. Because this is nothing. I remember growing when I was growing up in the South. Man, that's that, that was a, a, a general thing. Shit, that was a general thing. And Esau, you best believe Esau caught on to that. Like, oh, we got it. Man, these motherfuckers. Even the Egyptians said that they are coming more mightier than us. It's too many of them. We have to do something. Now, here you go. This man, he really has set it up for our women where she don't even have to tell you she's pregnant. She's told her girlfriend, girl, like, yeah, I'm girl, like, you know, I ain't had my, I ain't came on my period. Girl, for real, how long it's been? Yeah, I ain't came on yet. I've been throwing up a little bit. I've been feeling a little queasy. 
her and her wicked ass girlfriend, her, her and her wicked ass friend, or basically her wicked ass um 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 damn enemy, really, and driving her to a damn Planned Parenthood or some shit, getting you know doing that thing. You see. So all that wickedness, man, is going to be stopped. And I said, I've been saying it in a, in a couple of videos, you know, before. If you've ever had an abortion, you need to repent. If, your man, if you niggas have ever pushed your woman into doing that, paying for one, you need to repent, man. Or you're going to be destroyed, man, because that, that shit is murder, man. Straight up. Straight up. And I'm willing to bet you. Majority of these women that's in the comment board, comment board talking all that shit, they, they, they've they gone and killed babies, man. <laughs> Let's just be real here. Right? So with that, hey, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Corn your shoulder.